CBS News, Elvis Presley, king of popular music, is dead at the age of 42. Elvis Presley, king of popular music, is dead at the age of 42. This is amazing. This is my first time here, and I'm overwhelmed, totally overwhelmed. I know many of you have been here for many years, 20. Uh, this is maybe, I don't know, the first time for some of you, um, six, seven, eight, ten times uh, a year that uh, you come. Uh, I've been told about this, how amazing it's been, how much fun you have in your celebration uh, to Elvis coming, him, coming here and supporting him in every way. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you so much for your love and your affection for him and, of course, your support. Thank you. Thank you so much. Priscilla Presley. Thank you, guys. We're going to get that viral. <laughs> Maybe bring more people to Collingwood. Uh, like I said, this is my very first time actually at any festival like this. This is the number one in the world, and you have been amazingly supportive. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's all have a great time here today and um, join together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I just want to say one other thing before I leave is that I was only 14 years old when I met Elvis Presley. One of the things he said to me, <laughs> one of the things he said to me, not just once, but at that young age and throughout, that he had the greatest fans in the world. And I, I swear that God is my witness, he said that to me. And he had a, a few albums that, 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 that he had in Germany of fans who sent them their picture. And he had them all put in albums and he showed me from Germany, from Spain, from Argentina, from Japan, from England, all over, but three or four books. And I, I thought, God, that's just, a, I, 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 as a young girl, I really didn't know that there were fans and things like that. I didn't know that, um, you know, with all the support that you gave to people that you cared for and loved. Uh, I was thrown into the world of rock and roll at such a young age, but still, you know, to sh to, for him to show emotionally how much he cared. And he was in Germany thinking that he'd be forgotten, that he was taken away from the music that he loved and the career that he wanted to be in, to join, of course, and be in the army. Not join, he was drafted. But the one thing that he had hoped was that his fans would still be there when he came home. And he wasn't quite sure, so he kept those books with him. And he said, I just hope they stay with me. And he continued that, not just then, but when, of course, I lived at Graceland and throughout our marriage, and even after. So here's living proof that you are still there for him, and I just wanted you to know how much he appreciated all of you. So thank you. Thank you. And I would just like to add one personal note. Um, this is such an honor to have this lady here, and I just want to say, and I think I can probably speak for all our fans out here, we thank you from the bottom of our heart for keeping Elvis's memory and legacy alive. And for, if it wasn't for you, these fans wouldn't get an opportunity to know the man more than just the music and the artist, but to actually know the incredible spiritual and, and giving man that Elvis Presley really was. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.